Hey guys, my name is Samir Shil Singha and you are watching Pulse. Today we are at Ignite Space for a young innovators exhibition. There are some really great innovations over here and some really amazing innovators. So there are some really cool things to see in there. So let's go ahead and see what's, what they have. Hi, we are here with a young innovator, Virul Abhesurya. So can you tell me a little bit about your invention? Uh, yes, I've experienced some uh, inconveniences at night. It's dark, you can't see anything and it's also very sweating. I couldn't do my homework one day at night because there was no electricity. But this is the new invention that will solve that problem. It has an LED which lights up at night and also there's a motor here so it's no more sweating. Also, there's a magna motor and uh, uh, everybody knows that inside the motor contains some amount of magnets so they just kind of link together and if you connect it to this uh, two um, uh, sockets and on the uh, switch this thing turns and this thing is variable. You could fix a lot of uh, uh, in inventions and stuff like that to this thing as well. And uh, all of these stuff are controlled by three motor uh, um, switches and uh, powered by uh, three 9 volt batteries. I think that's really cool. I think it's really cool what you're doing here. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about who helps you out and tell us a little bit about Igniter Space and how you enjoy it here? Uh, Igniter Space is really good. It, the, the Igniter Space only uh, imp inspired me to create a lot of things. Uh, it's uh, pretty cool and I tell everybody who's watching this thing to send their kids also to Igniter Space. Who helped you out with this project? Was it all you or did someone help you out? Uh, my father also helped me, but I did most of the work. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for uh, talking to us. We are now here with Mr. Lakmal Abesuria, a father of a young innovator at Igniter Space. Hello, sir. Uh, what do you think about Igniter Space? Yeah, it's a very good program because uh, my son is always like to do new things. So we were looking at uh, uh, like a class or something to enroll him. So we couldn't find it. So finally, we got the news about the kids Ignite. So from there, he improved his knowledge and he. I think now he can do his own creations and uh, is inspired by this program. Uh, what would you tell uh, parents of children like your son if they want to send them to Ignite Space? What would you tell them? Yes, I will advise them to send them because it's a very good program. Because uh, once you enroll them, you don't have nothing to worry because they will give all the uh, items to make and the training. So after enrolling them, basically they will take over your child for the. Uh, things in future. Okay, thank you very much. So thank you for talking to us. We are here with Mr. Hasit Yaggahavita, the founder of Igniter Space. Hello sir, how are you doing today? Doing good. It's actually inspiring to see the young innovators uh, in work here. Yeah. So can you tell us about how Ignite Space became what it is today? Okay, um, what actually happened was I was uh, looking for the maker space for my own kids. I have two boys, one is five, another one is ten. Uh, I couldn't find a place where we can actually get them to be innovative, creative. Um, and then uh, being an engineer, I thought maybe I should start one. So that is how actually all, all of this started. Can you tell us about what Igniter Space is and what, it's, what it does for the children? 
Yeah, sure. Um, what we try here is to, um, now if you look at our education system, um, we are more or less uh, very much academic in, in our education system. We expect our kids to be correct and accurate in everything they, they do. But if you look at the uh, innovator's mindset, that is actually uh, very much of taking a chance, uh, being open to become a failure, right? Um, and also uh, ability to understand someone's pain point so that they can actually come up with a solution for their pain point. That type of a mindset uh, is not encouraged in our education system. So what we do here is basically to uh, teach kids that they can actually be creative, they can be their own, and then they can try something completely out of the space if they want, um, and uh, try to solve certain issues and problems they see around the uh, environment they live in. So that's what we encourage kids to do here. I think it's really great what you're doing here and the idea behind it sounds really great. What would you say to parents of a child who is inspiring to be an innovator? Um, good question. Um, now, uh, what, what I need our parents to uh, do around is to actually prepare them for the uh, unknown future. Uh, when you say prepare them for the unknown future, there are a few things which are important. Uh, one is we see uh, more and more the learnability is becoming important than the mere knowledge itself because knowledge is perishable and uh, knowledge is today commodity. Anybody with a smartphone is probably more knowledgeable than most of the professionals today, right? Um, so the, the learnability and creativity, these are the two factors which will drive the future. So uh, the being parents and being the elders, I think our responsibility is to create an environment where kids can actually gain the learnability and also creativity and they become more and more innovative so that the future jobs they are looking forward uh, will be the jobs that cannot be automated by the computers, right? So that is what we are seeing all, all, all throughout. Uh, unless you are creative and unless you are, have the learnability, then uh, our jobs will be taken by the uh, machines and automation and computers. So uh, prepare them for that future by giving them the learnability and creativity. So that's my message to the parents. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Very much.